Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers and thank you for subscribing. Um, so, hope that everybody had a happy and safe Independence Day. And now we're back at it, just like you are, I'm sure. gonna bring in here next well I was gonna do this yammy hammy 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 haw but a buddy of mine is a school teacher and I have a special place in my heart for school teachers anyway and so he because he's a school teacher and the kids have not been going to school he's had some time on his hands and he went out with this motor, and it's electric start and all, and he thinks he's getting water in the cylinder. So he went and bought a head gasket, and God knows what else is up there in his little priority mail packages. But I think I'm going to wheel this one in there, and I'll pause on the Honda. I was going to do the Mercury 40, but I talked to that gentleman today, and he said he's in no hurry. So that'll let me go back to my buddy's Johnson. And there's my Mercury. I think I have sourced the carburetor for it. I do not have a hood. I have half a hood. So I'll throw a 55 or 70 OMC hood on there until I can come up with one. But I got some plans for that motor. I want to make it a tiller operated, tiller shift. Um, I have some of these aftermarket tiller handles I'll show you here in a bit. But we're going to roll this one in get to looking at it and see if we can find what's wrong with it. I'll be right back. Here's some of these uh, kind of generic tiller shifter units I got. I'll show you these. So this one you can see it's got the cables. This cable needs replacing but I got I got lots of cables. Um, and there's where you clip it on. But if I turn like clockwise, if you watch this one, that would probably snap it into reverse that way. And if I go the other way, I don't know if that would operate with throttle. And then this one does the same. I don't know if you can see that even. Watch this guy. Watch that cable. See? So they've got the cables run basically, it looks like in some kind of rack in here. And there'll probably be some kind of pinion gear hooked to the throttle itself. But this one just bolts on that away with a bolt up and down, so I'd probably have to build a bracket. This is essentially the same one, but it has shorter cables. Um, this cable's all roached. But they built that kind of bracket. And that would bolt right onto that Mercury right there where that those two holes are. Because it, it has a spot on the Merc for that. So this all painted up. Same thing when I turn it, the cables move depending on which way I turn it. So that's those styles. So got a couple of them. This one. got a shifter built just about like a mercury shifter it's got the man overboard switch here it's 
got one of those tensioners that goes into the steering tube. Um, and then it looks like it was made for two cables as well. There's one missing here. Um, and I, I probably have a cable. But you can see, or maybe you can see as I turn it, it goes in and out. So hopefully with these generic tiller throttle shifters, I can build some brackets and end up with some tiller throttle and gear shifter but I just wanted to show you those that's where I'm planning on going with the Merc I want to get a tiller handle and throttle shift and uh, so I'll have to do a little bracketism some fabricating and make it wake okay I want to show you this Can you see that mist coming out of there? Look in the air. About right in here. I'd say she got some issues. See that? Yeah, she's full of water in that bottom cylinder. So, let's do a compression. Check on that thing. hands clean now and then I'm going to turn it over a little bit see all that watery yuck coming out of there so let me get my compression tester over here Let's see what we might have going uh. on this bottom cylinder it's got all kind of milky yuck coming out of it. Come on, girl, get in there. Get in there. There we go. Yeah, we got it. Bring you around back here. Lower it down. All right. So we've got the compression gauge in there. She's on zero. Let's see what we get. Whoa, I'm squirting. Yuck, all at my camera. Okay, we got about 50, let's see, 30, 35, 40, 30, 45, 50, about 53. That ain't good. 53 ain't good. 
So that old head's gonna have to come off of there. Let's yeah, see what we got on the top. I hope I didn't milk up my lens with that, did I? It's hard for me to tell. Because it was shooting that funk right at the camera. Which means it had to be coming out of the top cylinder because we had the spark checker in the bottom cylinder. Okay. We are zeroed out. Turn this motor a little bit like that so we ain't spitting at the camera. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got a whopping 30. Boy, almost nothing on the top. Let me do it again. Thirty. So we got some problemos. We're gonna have to pull off of that head. See what we get. So let me get set up to do that, and I'll be right back. Okay. So started loosening up these head bolts, and as you can see, this engine's quite salty off the power pack you can see the salt just is everywhere so you know these bolts are pretty straightforward but how do you get those bottom two well the way I do it is I drill a couple holes see them holes right there I drill these holes and then I take my quarter inch, I stick it up to the hole and I put my socket on it. Now I can go straight in at the bolt. That's how I do it. And you go, but now you got a big old holes in your motor. Then I, when I get everything reassembled, I take these little plastic plugs that look like this. You can get them at your hanky spanky hardware store. I put just a little bit of contact cement in and then I pop them in the hole. And they look almost factory. In fact, most outboards you find will have some of these in it today. These little push, push tabs. So. Buy those at the hardware, drill your two holes, line it up just by eyesight with your bolt. And if you're a little off, you can use a swivel, stick it up through there, put your socket on there, and bam, get them out. Get them out. You got to get them out. So, and the rest of these should come out. You know, they should come out. Pretty straight. Forward. But she's a rusty, salty. Where's that other one at? There. Is that it? Yep. Oh, I might have missed that. Oh, no, there it is. There it is, right? Yeah. And some top ones. And some other top ones. And I don't think I broke these two loose yet. Maybe I did. Uh, is that one? Where's that one? See, yeah, that's one. Let me break this with my ratchet. Then I can zip it out of there. I missed that one, I think. Where's it at? Heck, I missed two of them, I think. Let's see. Get that wire out of my way. that one and get that wire out my way there we go did I get it did I get it I don't know if I did or not this one's at a funky funky dilly angle I got him I got him that time
I've got it. By Jove, I believe I've got it. Brr, brr, boom. I've got it. All right, so there's that one. Uh -huh, those two, those two, those two. Whoop, look here. Found another. There it is. Dag, darn it, dag, gum it. Another little tool I made was this old thing a long time ago. It's a 7 16 socket welded to an old screwdriver. And it'll let me get in here sometimes and get these boogers. Just like so. You understand? So, yeah, once in a while you have to make <coughs> stum. That old head just fell off. You see, they just have a bloop. There's the head bolts. So, now. No. Uh, we gotta undo some wars. I'm gonna move you over here just a little bit. And where you at? And Take off that and roll out that. That's off of there. Um, take off that. I thought I already took him off. Cool wire. Okay, take off that. Got a ground wire. Got the old ground wire. That we got to take off. off. Zip dippy doo. Okay. Alright. And out of my way. Just went my washer and everything. Well, not everything. Um, oh boy. Well. Look at that head gasket. Goodness gracious, how does that happen? How do that happen? You seeing that right there? Look at there. That head gasket be short. So yeah, there was just a little bit of water. Look at that. Look at it. Here's the little piece of the rim for it and show the water was getting all in that bottom ceiling door. Looky there. I got this thing zoomed in. Okay. But there you go. Now I gotta go dig through my gasket pile and see if I got one. I think I do. I think I do, I think I do. But yeah, an endless look in that cylinder. Oh boy, yummy. Let me get out of the way and you'll be able to see that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. 
Yummy. So, we got some cleaning to do. Some spraying. And such. But right now, I'm going to actually look and see if I have a different head. Because he told me he ran this thing hot. And I think I might have that same head. So, I'm going to go look. I'll be back. Okay. So, I went out in my parts pile. See what it say? Say 30. Oh, power. See what it say? 30. You can see the rust and the dirty. So, I got to clean it up. Here's the old one. Like I said, he overheated this one really bad, and so I don't know if this thing's been warped. But I'm going to put brand new coils and a different head, and I did. Went through my gasket pile, and there's me the gasket to take place of this roached gasket. So, I'm betting we get some compressionis back, you want a stannis, I speak it a spanis. Yeah, so, I got everything to get her done. Get her done! And so I'm going to stop, wire wheel this, hit it with a little paint, clean it up, wash it, blah, blah, blah. I don't think you want to see me wash your head. Do you? Yeah, I won't make you wash me. Wash the head. I'll be back. All right, going to clean up this surface. <clears throat> Let me move you over here. Wind's blowing it right into the camera. All right. <laughs> A little sandy paper. Need it all, need it all, need it all. So.
I got the head dry. So I got the head all painted up pretty good. Still got some salt in them passages. Ugh. But she's looking pretty good. I'll blow this out once it dries. So, this old salty motor. Alrighty. Hey, I'm going to let this dry for about, oh, 15, 20 minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, that new head and new head gasket is on. I only, uh, I put it on, only torqued those bolts down to about 10 pounds. Then I'm going to let that sit overnight. You would not need to let that sit overnight hour hour and a half you'd be good to go but it's late so I'm gonna let that set overnight oh this guy must have did some woodwork and wherever he's look at this where he stored this motor well people just they they put the sea in these things but man the happyos is horrible but uh, we got the new head gas getting head on there and like I said, we'll let her sit over to overnight, and then tomorrow I'll put the new coils and wires and hook everything back up and yeah. Okay, so I got the new head and head gasket on. I torqued all the head bolts down to 20 pounds of torque and we got the new head so I screwed the compression tester in the top if I remember right we had 50 on that one let's see what we'll get stay tuned for part two on inside outboards with Cody Bass <laughs>